Hi guys, welcome to Creative Tutorials. My name is Jelge and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to reduce uh, weight, remove fat, uh, make your body more slim, um, however you want to um, describe it. Um, basically what we will be doing here is uh, remove some uh, love handles like here and a bit of a belly uh, like here. We're not using a picture of a girl or whatever with a big ass because well you know you can use it for whatever you like uh, but I think you will mainly use it just for some small adjustments like this and not to make someone weight half the weight he or she actually does. Now therefore I took this picture of myself on the beach in Thailand a few years ago. Uh, I have some weight here and weight here that I really want to get rid of um, and I have a coconut here that washed ashore. Well what is the result we're going for? Well, this is what we want. So this is what we got now, and we want this. It looks better. You know, the belly is gone. Uh, there's less, well, unnecessary weight over here. And just for fun in the tutorial, I made a bit of a more muscles in the arms to show you how some other options work. And well, let's get started. Oh, this layer uh, will be removed for now we don't need it we're gonna make a new layer always make a new layer ctrl j can be used as well but use the new layer why because you don't want to adjust the original image you will have a problem if you have to go back too far good now the tool we will be working with is actually a filter and it is the liquify filter and the liquify filter is where the magic happens well you see a window popping up and here is a picture of me on the beach and here are the the options um, I have the forward warp tool and maybe I should show what they do this is the main tool you will be using and this will press the image uh, in a direction well we will not be using the reconstruction tool through clockwise tool which you know that is a, really not something you want to use here uh, the pucker tool you might use but not in this picture because well it, it isn't really useful for this image it's more for if you want to uh, correct le legs or anything like that uh, this one is the blow tool we use this uh, to give some more muscles but you can also use this for bigger breast or maybe a Kim Kardashian ass it will uh, save you some surgery money well, let's go to the freeze mask tool and the uh, tall freeze mask tool. Uh, basically, the freeze mask, what it does is it creates a mask over areas you don't want to influence by the other tools. Now, this is important because when you start using the warp tool, for example, like this, you know, you see the fisherman and the rock uh, moving as well. And you don't want that because uh, they have to be, well, horizontal. Um, so... Therefore, you will apply a mask over it and you won't have that problem. Now, here we have the tool options. The brush size, of course. Um, make sure that the brush size you're using is actually a size that uh, suits the, um, uh, the, the size you're using it for. So, if you're using a too small of a brush, for example, well, let's uh, just uh, go somewhere. When you use it, you see you will... Uh, create some uh, some areas you don't want. It has to be more like a, uh, an overall adjustment. So uh, the density, you know, you can compare it with the normal brushes, hardness, softness, uh, density lower is a soft brush, uh, density higher is a hard brush. And the brush pressure, uh, well, uh, that basically uh, influence the pressure of the brush, so to say. And you can have it a bit more in the direction of 100 if you want. But you have to experiment with it. It can be different for each image. Brush density, I mainly have it on somewhere uh, around 50. Um, these are the mask options. You won't be using them. This is to show the image. This is to show the mask. And to show the backdrop is when you make your adjustments and you uh, click on this option, you will see the original image. Um, 
in the background, so to say. Now let's start by the adjustments. Of course, we want to apply a mask first. Let's zoom in, Control plus, and here we have it. Now for this, we want a brush density of 100% because we do not want any soft edges around the brush, how do we? So I will be making a bit of a brush here and I've could have used a smaller size but well uh, who cares maybe make it a bit smaller here and you know the square brackets open and close will make your brush size bigger or smaller so great now let's zoom out a bit good we want to adjust the belly first so what will we be doing we're going to the forward warp tool um we go for a size we think uh, suits the the body size um and i would say well, the body pressure let's of the brush pressure 100 and well maybe um this is a bit too big 250 might be right now you've got to see it this way the cross is where the pressure is and the circle is what it influences. so there you see on the top of the circle you see an edge and until there until that spot is actually what you're moving so keep that in mind maybe i can make it a bit smaller and also try to use uh to, to press only if you start brushing it doesn't really matter for well for this but i can show you what happens if you brush you know you really move position of areas and you don't want it because you don't want to move uh, the belly button up there for example and so basically all you do is you give it some pressure maybe you want to move this out a bit and well there we have it the belly is adjusted and now let's adjust this part as well now as you see we do influence everything around there except for the fisherman okay make it a bit smaller and now we have to of course pull the pens down a bit because if you have it too much up there it still looks as if it's uh, being held on on its place by uh, by a belly and you want it more straight so and this has to go up a bit maybe adjust this a little bit in that direction okay now this is great isn't it we can try if the pucker tool will help us out a bit with making this disappear and now let's push back a bit of the flash here great as you can see we now have an adjusted body um and the fisherman isn't adjusted uh, only you see a small blue spot over there um, and we don't want that so what will we be doing we will adjust that later on for now it's okay of course what we can do is give it a bit of a brush over here 
or uh, the the mask and then you know pull up the waterline but basically I think it's better to just adjust this later on by using uh, the patch or the brush healing tool well whatever let's remove the mask make it a bit bigger goes faster and there you have it I'm a lot smaller now okay now what do we want to adjust as well we want to give us a bit of a with the blow tool a bit of uh, some muscles so basically you will just give it some pressure at some points do the same over here and you see the arms getting bigger now if you're using this tool for something like this keep in mind that it's a bit strange if you use that only on the muscles and your arm keep the normal size so everything has to be adjusted in size a bit and I'm not going to be spending too much attention to this because that's not really what this tutorial is about but this is what we got now and is it what what before well I think it's uh, it's a great adjustment and um, I'd rather come home with a picture like this than uh, with a picture like that I would say um, try it yourself um, enjoy experimenting with it if you like the tutorial I'd love to see a like and I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel um, and I'll see you next tutorial